how do you keep charge really effectively? The reason I like charging with Heavy Punch is because it leaves me the most amount of options. What goes away when I'm charging with Heavy Punch is Forward Fist, Stand Fist, and Crouch Fist. Those are the only things that go away, right? If I was to hold, if I was to hold charge with Light Punch, right? I've got Forward Fist, I've got Stand Fist, I've got Crouch Fist. But I can't do stand jab. I can't do any form of jab. And that's really bad. And not only that, but on defense, I can't take a throw on defense. So that's too risky. I can't afford to risk that. I can't take that risk. I can't take a throw. I can't jab. Meaning if they're close to me, I can't really jab. It's, it's not... I don't want to take that. I would much rather take away my longest range button and still have my buffer. Still have my buffer. And my clutch medium punch. And then if I if I want to do forward half punch, I can instantly just cancel the charge and then use it. Now the reason why I'm able to charge so effectively is because I tend to charge after everything. If I'm in neutral and I do forward fifth, I've charged right there, I've charged. If I do clutch medium, I can charge after that. I tend to charge after everything, which is really effective. And another thing, after I do a combo and I release the charge, for example this, a lot of fat players tend to just end it there. However, if you charge straight afterwards, you've got another charge ready to go. Even when you release your charge, you, that doesn't mean it has to end there. You can still continue charging. That's why this becomes strong. This becomes really strong on block as well. Let me make it so um, it's blocking. God, oh, this is plus two on block. This is where the pressure comes in. If you just do this, and then that's it, you're not charging, all these buffers are not as scary. Because no plus frames come from it. Look, minus two, minus two, minus three, minus ten. However, if you did this, plus two, now they don't want to press a button, right? Plus frames, all these plus frames, it has the chip damage. That's when it becomes very strong. That's when it becomes very strong. You want to be able to keep charging. Practice doing this in training mode. Just practice doing this. Every time. So you'll always have your charge, no matter what you do. Whatever button you press. Forward fist, charge. Stand heavy kick, you can still charge. You need to learn to charge in between buttons while you're pressing buttons. You don't always, and another thing, you don't always have to withstand fist to charge. Like if I want to charge right here, I don't have to do this and then charge with stand fist. I could do a jab and still charge with stand fist. Just make sure you press heavy punch in between the jab. If you look at my inputs, I'm doing a stand jab and pressing heavy punch in between that. That cancels the, the jab charge and turns it into a heavy punch charge. So I can still jab. So that's what I'd be doing when I'm charging, really. It's important. It's important. 